Oh, yeah. uh. <laughs> yep. Uh. Wow. Okay, so I'm just digging this out. Uh. <laughs> oh. But that hurts, right? Yeah, it does. Oh, that's so painful. Okay, so this is just locked up. Pull up this top nail like this. This feels like a piece of concrete. And you feel it in the sacrum? Yeah. <laughs> There's more, right? <laughs> Unlock your full potential at Crack Addicts. So we have Dominique here. She is a neuropsychometrician. Did I say that right? Right. In like a sentence, what is that? Um, I test uh, intellectually disabled people and find out what part of the brain is not functioning. And then that gives the neuropsychologist ways of how they're gonna help the person. And what type of major were you in college to do something like that? Neuroscience. Yeah. Experimental in, psychology, yes. Here in Manhattan? Yes. Where? New York University. Interesting, okay. So what do you wanna work on today? Um, Lower back, buttocks, and ankles. Okay, what part of your lower back? Is it lower left, lower right, center? It's usually the whole lower back. Okay. So you said usually your left ankle? Yes. Okay. What type of exercise do you do? Are you lately? I haven't been doing any exercises because okay. I just have gotten like chronically fatigued. Okay. So. All right. Well, let's start with body stuff today. Okay. And I'm gonna have you put your nose back in the paper, straighten out your body on the table, come back a little bit. Perfect. Let your feet relax. Okay. Nose down, arms alongside your body, and I'm gonna put these uh, little adjusting or alignment shoes on your feet. Relax your uh, feet right now so that they just stay loose and relaxed and supple. So I can move them around a little bit. And these alignment shoes allow me to see if there's any imbalances. So the first thing I notice is your left leg's pulling short. Not a lot, like a centimeter or a little less than a centimeter, but it's a clue. Uh -huh. Nothing more than a clue. Let me carry the legs myself so that I can really just see them loosey-goosey. And I bring them down, I look at them one more time, and it's definitely the left leg. It, I would say it's just about a centimeter short. Um, when I bring it up to the second position at 90 degrees, they even. So when they even like that, sometimes there's knee involvement. Actually, I saw something here. Do you feel a little tenderness here on the inside yeah. of the knee? Yeah. Do you ever get that? Yeah. I'm gonna adjust it down. And wait, there, I missed it. Do you feel it right there? Yeah. That was tender, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna come into the medial ankle and adjust from medial to lateral. The legs are even already. Wow. So let me bring them to position two, position three. Um, I'm gonna pull down on the left hip, the legs stay even. I'm gonna push up on the left hip, the legs stay even. I'm gonna push up on the right hip, the legs stay even. I'm gonna pull down on the right hip, the legs stay even. So, so far so good. Squeeze your knees together, which checks and relax, which checks the pubic bone. Actually, I saw a little shortening pattern. Let me push down on the opposite hip. That should do it. I can adjust the pubic bone on the anterior side, but sometimes I can catch it from the pelvis side or the back, the posterior side. Squeeze the knees together to repeat the test and relax. The legs stay even, so we're good there. I'm gonna check the, uh, for hip rotation and hip rotation and external rotation and external rotation, and that all looks good. Yeah, so the. The ankles are off. We're going to do that in a minute when she's lying supine because uh, it's hard to get the ankle face down with these shoes on. Let's try something different. Take this leg, lift it as straight as possible like this, and then put it down. Do that by yourself. And then did you get any pain, tension, or restriction doing that? Yeah, like here. That whole side, right? Then do this leg and tell me which one's harder to lift. This one. Definitely that one? Mm -hmm. So let me take these shoes off of you. And go back to lifting that side again, but this time when you're lifting, stick your thumb or finger into the bad spot. Use one finger so I can tell. All right, I'm gonna put my own thumb there, drop your leg, and lift again, and let me see if I can feel it. Okay, I can feel it, can you? Uh, yeah. It hurts. kills, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna just do this, drop your head. I'm gonna do a few of these in here with the adjusting instrument, and repeat that test. Oh, much looser. Much looser? 
but still. But still, light. then let's keep working, okay? So right here is a good spot. Right there, yeah. And now try it again. Much looser. But where is it still showing up? There. All right, so I'm going to come a little closer. Now I'm very close to the bottom of the sacrum. This would be the cornu of coccyx or the top because uh, you, you could feel a little. Uh, the coccyx uh, has these like little horns on them and uh, like cornucopia, the corn or, or Latin for horns. So the coccyx or the tailbone has these little kind of bumps and you can palpate and feel those quite easily. So it's just above it, about a centimeter above. I'm slightly right of center. I'm going to get a good contact point. I'm going to come straight down. Still a little tight here. Okay. After uh, that big buildup, I didn't fix it, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Right there. Okay. right there. I sounded good, kind of, right, <laughs> for like two seconds. It's like, oh, this guy, this guy knows what he's talking about. He does. And, but then he doesn't do shit. No. He doesn't even help me. He sucks, but Ugh. he, like, talks a good game. Okay, so try it now. Yeah. Yeah, what? It's looser. It's just, it's this button. All right, I give up. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's get me someone else. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. You bend this knee up like this okay. and drive that up a little bit. Oh, so yeah. I think you got some, the next thing after that whole big speech, I'm going to come right here. I'm going to drive my human elbow into your, <laughs> good. Now watch this. I'm gonna hold this spot and I'm gonna call this windshield wiper. Would you see it looks like a windshield wiper? Yeah. So I want you to windshield wipe with your windshield wiper as I hold this horrible spot. Ow. Now how much does that hurt? It hurts. Okay, go slow with your leg. Ugh. Touch down, so touch your ankle down and bring the windshield wiper up. And touch down and bring Ugh. the windshield wiper up. How much does that hurt? A that lot or a lot? A lot, a okay, lot. Okay, good. See, that's what you get for making fun of me. <laughs> No. Okay. So lift that leg up. Okay. It's much smoother. Much smoother. You're just saying that because you don't want to do that again. <laughs> yeah. <that's what> <laughs> All right. No, but try. Let's see. Because okay. I don't have to do the elbow. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, it's uh, smoother. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> and what's with the calves? You also told me about your calves. Yeah. They hurt at times. I don't know okay. why. So lay on your side facing this way. You're going to put both arms on this side of the table. Okay. Let me take this paper away. Move closer to the edge towards me and pull up this top knee like this, and this tucks right there. Okay. Hold my arm, uh, just this bottom hand. There you go. Double up the arm. And do you see how your knee is hitting the table? Yeah. I want you to move close enough so your knee will hang off the table. Drive that shoulder back, roll the hips towards me. <laughs> Did you feel all those? <laughs> that was crazy, right? Yeah. Come this way. Bring your pillow with you. Okay. Good. Lie on your side again. So we're going to basically mirror image what we just did okay. so that right knee comes up. Move close enough to the edge so your hips have a chance to rotate a little bit. Okay. Drive these elbows back. Now this is the side that of involvement. This yeah. is the right side, that side that's been difficult to get some changes. Oh yeah. So that's a big one. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> that was a big one. All right. So lie on your back again. Uh-huh. Let me take this pillow away. Scoot to the top of the table. Okay. Okay. You feel like that gets a little tight? Yeah. Okay. How was that? Great. Good. A little more. Mm. Is that okay? Yeah. Good. Let's go back down to the ankle. Scoot down towards me so your heels hang off. And then you can lie back down. Here, I'll give you a pillow so you're more comfortable. Thank you. You're welcome. Come another two inches, just so your heels hang up. Okay. So I'm going to start with the right foot, even though the le left one was worse, right, mm -hmm. for ankle stuff. Okay, so come in close. Let this relax a little bit. There it goes. Do you hear it? Yeah, I felt it. Good. But it already popped. Did you feel that? Yeah, I felt the pop. That one's good already. Okay. Good. Lie face down one more time. Okay. You can just, you can put your hand, yeah. Do a spot in here, big breath in and blow it out. 
Wow. Okay, lift this leg one last time. Tell me what you think. Much smoother. Much smoother, okay. So I don't know if we cured it all, mm -hmm. probably didn't, but we did a good session. What do you want to look at today? What do you want to work on? Um, my lower back and it radiate, the pain radiates to my heels and oh, my wow. calf muscles. It hurts a lot. Do you feel it every day or yeah, just some days? Yeah, every day. How do you recreate that? Do you have to like bend down to feel it? Or? No, just even walk. It's constant hurting. Come stand right now. And you know, what if you kept your leg really straight and touched your toes. Do you feel it that way? No. Then do a little walking. Go over there and come back again. And do you notice it now? No, it's when I, as soon as I get up from lying down for a while, Okay. like it hurts here into my sacrum or whatever, okay. yeah, and then radiates. And is it both legs or usually just, just one this leg? one? Left leg, yeah. okay. So let's get you to lie face down for a minute and let's take a peek at what we see, okay? So move back towards me and um, move your arms to a neutral position back here and lift this thigh up as high as you can and then put it back down. And then lift, lift this thigh up and put it back down. Uh, this time when you lift your right leg, point to where you feel tension, okay? And I'm gonna move your stuff out of the way too, okay? Yeah. I should have left it in the other room. Here it is, I'm just moving it under this shelf. And you feel it in the sacrum? Yeah. Okay, put your arms down. So I'm just gonna take a look at your leg length. The left leg's pulling short. Here, I'll put these shoes on so when you look back at the video, you could see what I'm looking at, okay? Okay. The shoes have a big white line and the white line should match up. So we're gonna put these on like this and we're gonna hold them together and the left leg's pulling short. So we call that a left pelvic deficiency. And I'm going to adjust into the left sits bone. The real name for that is called the ischial tuberosity. Uh -huh. And so I'm holding this bone here and I'm gonna adjust into that, into the ligament, the sacro tuberous ligament. That's where it hurts. And then right in there, right? Yeah. It's right there. But let's go back and look at the feet. And I get the feet even. Now I bring the legs up to this position. Does that make it worse? No, it makes it feel better. Okay, it's already feeling better. So let me check the sacro base. Yeah, the sacral base is high. So what, what happens is this is flipping up a little bit. Oh, okay. So I wanna push this back down and get on that. Now, how about now? Yeah, it feels good. Okay, so watch this, we'll do something else, okay? Oh. <laughs> One more time. Good, got it. Okay. Now, <laughs> that shocked you, right? Yes. But feel how this feels like yeah. now. Do you see that? Lift now lift this leg up. And look how high it comes yeah. up. Now lift this leg up. It's already feeling a little better, right? Yes. Little Good. Better. You know, it's sitting at the computer too long without getting up more often. Okay. So if you're sitting uh, working on the computer and 45 minutes went by, then you should stand up and move around. Okay and then sit back down again. Okay. But even like sometimes you could just even look at the computer screen and just move. If you haven't, if, like let's say you're studying something or you're, um, you know, contemplating something and you're not actually working and typing. You yeah. Could just stand up for a minute and just, just kind of sway around okay. and move and stretch your body and then sit back down okay. again. Because we have a lot of time when we're just kind of staring at the computer True. and not being active. Yes. So that's, remind yourself, well, get up a second and you can actively stare at the computer from, okay. from a standing position. That's right. So I want to check this next. So hands on your lap. Yeah, so this is all tight in here. Do you feel how this is yeah. all tight? So I'm going to um, do an adjustment on this now, okay? Okay. So. I'm gonna actually, I have to get a little higher than you for this one. So you're gonna turn your head this way. I'm gonna put your head right in here. Let the shoulders fall. <laughs> Do you hear it pop? Yes. <laughs> so now turn this way. Let your head fall this way. One more. Good. So now scoot back towards me. I'm gonna take the arms like this, put them up on your own body. Mm -hmm. Let me raise the table just a little bit. Create like a little roundness in here. 
Now lie on your back right here. Everything's popping on you today, yeah. right? Look put this way with your face. Keep looking that way. Oh. Look this way with your face. Whew. Amazing. There's more, right? <laughs> so you're gonna help me sweep your hair through this, okay? okay. I can't remember if you did this before. No, I haven't. I think it's the new. Yeah. All right. So we just want to feel a tug a little first, okay? Okay. Do you feel it stretching? Yeah. Okay, big breath in and blow it out. <laughs> wow. Where'd you feel that? Right here. More out of the neck. Yeah. Uh, you had more in the neck than you thought. Did it make a popping noise or just stretch? A big popping noise. Yeah. How does it feel? Very good. Good. So now you're going to lie on your side facing me this way, please. And it also did something here. It opened up the, the, the base of the neck and yeah. around the scapulas gets tight from being at the computer all the time. Yeah. And texting. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Because when we text, her head's down. Mm -hmm. Bring this top knee like this. I'm gonna put my hand through like this and get your low back. Mm -hmm. Good, let me drop this down even more. Good. Go to the other side, please. What did you feel on that one? <laughs> I felt it all here yeah. and even up here a little bit. How many went? Huh? Like 10 of them. Yeah, right? like 10 of them. I think you're the popping champion today. <laughs> you're very strong. Uh, <laughs> wow. That was a lot. That was a lot. Line your back, please. <laughs> you all right? You're like, I'm what the sorry. hell did I sign up for? <laughs> All right, let's look at this one real close, okay? Got it. That was a loud pop. All right, those are good. Let's leave those, okay? Come stand. Come all the way over here. Let me check your wrist, too. So you turn this way. Your elbows go a little hyperextended. Yeah. Wrists are good. Ooh, that one went. Mm -hmm. um, what do you want to work on today? What are your spots? Well, there's something where the coccyx bone slips up because mm -hmm. I sit at the computer and it's all on this left side all the way down to my ankle. It's okay. like numb, feels weird. Okay. Is it hurt in any spe uh, specific position or if you're walking or standing or jumping or? Um... This hurts constantly. Okay, do you feel it right now? Yeah. Okay, stand for just a second and turn with your back this way and point to the spot that you feel the most. Right here. Yes, yeah, so you are pointing right at the coccygeal sacral coccyx area. Okay, so I'm gonna have you start face down, put your nose right in here. Okay. And I'm going to uh, take a look. Good. And um, I'm gonna move your hair off to okay. the side. There you go, all right. So the first thing I noticed is this whole hip is like jacked up. So it's hard for you to lie flat almost, right? Yeah. Because it's off balance a little bit. Is one side hurt worse than the yeah, other? Yes, this side. Okay. So here I am on the edge of the sacrum. I'm coming down. Right there. And this is where it gets really tight. So that's the, that's the lower part of the left SI joint. And I'm going to roll this a little bit and see what that feels like. I'm going to rotate the leg and then I'm going to rotate it this way. So I'm internally rotating it and externally rotating it and internally rotating it. We call this toe out, toe in, toe out, toe in. Let's look at it again. Now I'm kind of at the end here. I mean, the coccyx tucks under, so we're not going that far down, but I can be on the top of the coccyx and get a little bit of pressure and leverage in on there. But that hurts, right? Yes, it does. A lot. Okay. 
So there's a leg check that I know from the activator technique that's kind of interesting to see. The legs are even. And now squeeze your buttocks really tight and look how the right leg goes short. And then relax your buttocks. Good. And here, film up so you see what she's doing too. Squeeze the buttocks and then relax the buttocks. Okay, so watch the feet again. So the feet are even. Squeeze the buttocks. Relax the buttocks. So as I pick the legs up, the left leg is longer, so it is a left deviation. And this is just a cool test. Um, so I'm actually gonna use the activator for this. Now people watching will go, well, you know, you could do, there's, there's manual techniques, but, and they've been around for a long time, but as much as people want like big fun things to watch on the video, you know, first I'm a doctor and first I'm trying to help patients. I'm not trying to create crazy wild videos uh, all the time. Sometimes I am. I'm on the left cornu of coccyx, a little horn, a little cornucopia horn of coccyx. I'm gonna put it on a fairly light setting because it's not a big structure and adjust it. Good, let's go back and recheck. So come down here and look at the feet again. So we know the feet are relaxed and now squeeze the buttocks tight and relax. Squeeze the buttocks tight and relax. So I took the pressure off that nerve already. Now I also wanna see if we have a deviated sacrum. So I'm gonna bring the legs up to position two and bring the legs back down. But I'm curious to see what happens. Uh, well, come sit up again. Because I'm going to look at your neck anyway when you're sitting in a seated position. But see what the toxic feels like now. I feel like you relieve pressure. Yeah, I mean, I moved it off. The, the bottom of the spinal cord, so the spinal cord, you know, starts all the way up at the top here by yeah. the brain, right? At the brain. And it comes all the way down. And then by the time you get to the lower lowest part of the lumbars, it turns into like these long stringy tendrils, right? It's not so much a cord anymore. So it's, and it's also named in Latin, uh, corda which means tail, yeah. equino, which means horse, like horse's tail. So it literally looks like a horse's tail. And those tendrils ankle, anchor all the way down to the coccyx. Yeah. So when the coccyx is deviated or disrupted in any way of its normal uh, position of ease and alignment, it's gonna put a lot of pressure on the whole spinal cord. Okay. And it can even give you a headache. Yeah, it does. It gave me all, even through my neck. Because the cerebral spinal fluid, and there's just a, a few, you know, ounces or cc's in the brain, but it comes down the little shaft of the spinal cord mm -hmm. and it repumps back up, like on a hydraulic system, back up to the brain. And so if the coccyx is disrupted, it literally can cause pressure mm -hmm. and a disequilibrium of, of the state of homeostasis of the cerebral spinal fluid and in effect give you a headache. Yeah, it did. Or, or compound a headache. Yeah. So how do you feel right now? I feel like pressure has been relieved. <laughs> okay, so that's all I did was just tap the coccyx on a very low pressure setting. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't look like much, but I probably helped the patient without being invasive. Like I didn't have to have her take her clothes off or touch her in any way, make you feel uncomfortable. So I feel proud about that. Okay. You know, to do as little as possible, mm -hmm. but also to be effective. All right, so we're gonna do this one next. Um, maybe um, move your hair all the way to sure. one side like this. And I'm gonna stand behind you. Scoot forward a few inches. And I'm gonna turn your head all the way this way. I'm gonna drop my arm this way and you're gonna bring your head over the top like this. Let the shoulder sag. It's a little bitty one, did you hear it? Yeah, I did. Didn't make a loud one, but didn't you hear one? Yeah, it did. <laughs> this one's gonna be louder because this is where you have all the pressure. Yep. <laughs> Felt it. Feels so good. Okay, good. So now lie on your back. Mm, yeah. Nice. Scoot down this one just a little bit. A little more. So now lie face down, please. Okay. Move 
move the hair off to the side again. Thank you. I'm going to grab the skin here, okay? Okay. Got it. Those are all good. Okay. Drop your arm. Big breath in and blow it out. It still feels tight in here. Okay. Line your side facing me this way. Please. Facing you? Okay. Straight, straight. Right there. Hold on tight. Okay, sorry. Got it. Drop the knee down now towards the floor. Like this. Oh, sorry. You're just going to point the knee towards the floor. Done. One last one. Come this way now. Oh, feel it. <laughs> so trying to release pressure all in that pelvic area. In the yes. Sacrum. Line your side. We're going to mirror image this side. Do okay. the same thing again. Bend the top knee up like this. Pull this through. So now we're going to go back in and do the same thing again. Let me put my arms through. And sure. you will hold on to that tricep. Bunch my hands there, okay? Okay. That's it. <clears throat> Got it. Wow. That's it. Yeah. Lie on your back. How did that one feel? Much better. <laughs> Good. I'm curious to see how that pressure feels over the yeah. next 48 hours. I think it's going to take about 48 hours. I, but I feel like an instant relief. You did? It was constricting all the way. Like you said, all the way to my brain. <laughs> well, good. Basically. So I'm going to do this ankle first, okay? okay. Got it. I have Ella here today. What do you want to work on? I want to work on my tight neck and mm -hmm. a little bit of my glutes. Okay, cool. I'm going to be stand up uh, solid on your feet so you're balanced. I'm going to put your arm out to the side and I'm going to do just a little muscle testing. So hold your arm firm, good. And tilt your head back, hold your arm firm, good. Keep it firm, make it strong, good. Now tilt it down a little bit and make your arm firm. Good, so re relax your arm a second. So I just checked her in a couple of neutral positions, like neutral forward, extension, flexion. Now we're gonna go into the side of pain. I'm gonna laterally flex. Laterally flex is just sideways, it's ear to shoulder. So don't rotate, just come straight this way, like that. Now hold your arm up and keep it firm. And it, it can't, because <laughs> this is compromised on this side. And she knew that, but I just want to see so that I have a before and after after I work on her. So now we're going to bring it this way. And that opens up the facet here, that opens that up and hold strong. So that side shouldn't be a problem. So when we close the facets and make them worse, make them more crimped, more pinched, more compressed and pressurized, then she loses power on that side. So first I'm, I'm going to just massage into the muscles just a little bit because this feels like a piece of concrete and you feel this too. You yeah. probably have rocks here all the time. Yeah. And she's athletically very supple and that's what we really want in a muscle. When you're not using a muscle, we want it to be taffy-like. We want it to stretch and be supple and be like more like clay or taffy. But sometimes a muscle that's been irritated for a long time feels like a piece of rawhide or beef jerky. And sorry to call your muscle like beef jerky, but it, that's what it feels like on this side. But the good side is no problem. Look at that. Yeah. That's beautifully supple like a muscle should be. A muscle not used should be soft. And so I'm just digging this out. Digging this out. 
digging this out. And I'm gonna stretch a little bit too, okay? So I'm stretching and stretching. So now I'm gonna motion into these joints. I'm not adjusting yet. I'm just getting it supple and ready. Right in there is so bad. Do you feel that? That's yeah. one of the worst spots. So this is a harder to get adjustment because it's through the trap. Like there's a much more exciting pops I can get up top mm -hmm. where you, I would just crack and you go, wow, I heard the crack and it's amazing. But it's not the spot that needs it. The spot that needs it is really low. It's down here at the base of the neck. Well, let's see if it does release, okay? Yeah. Take a breath in and blow it out. Check that, okay? I don't expect it to be healed, but let's see if we get some of the power back, okay? And we're gonna redo it. First, we're gonna test you neutral, just to see what that arm feels like. Good, so we know we have a strong arm to begin with. Now we're gonna laterally flex it to the bad side and keep your arm strong, hold. Big difference already, Big difference. right? So now we're gonna laterally flex, rotate and bring it back, which is coupling the worst segments, hold and it's not quite better yet. So the next thing we're gonna do that is right in here. So turn around, she still has, so we got part of it already. And to be honest with you, that's really bad. That's so to be honest with you, we might need a few visits on her, but let's, let's see what else we could do, okay? So right here is the first rib. I'm feeling that rib come right out of the T1 area. And I'm gonna use this instrument and now come up higher towards the neck. Okay, good. Now we're gonna laterally flex, bend and take it back, hold your arm. That's nice. <laughs> so that's good for a first visit, if I do say so yeah. myself. So what do you think, better. Ella? So much better. Yeah, it's cool, it's like right? Rotation, it's still, obviously it's still got a little bit up here. It needs work, but this is fixable. Yeah. And, you know, I would say, you know, to come do a few treatments if you're interested, yes. but you're gonna do fine. You're, you're gonna go oh, really gosh. rapidly. You'll probably feel by tomorrow, you'll probably be 60, 70% better from one treatment exactly. because you're already in great shape. You just have that one spot that's has it like, pops this out, yes. yeah, it's just really bad, but your shoulder blades out too. So we have a few more fun things to do. I'm gonna have you lie on your back here you're gonna be close to this edge because there's more to that the complex. That, well, underneath. This is out also. Yeah, because I broke my arm through here. Is it? Yeah. So I saw that already. No, stay flat on your back. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, keep your fingertips here. I'm gonna put my hand in like this okay. and sneak my hand under here. And you can feel that set. Yep. So it's another part of it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna have you lie face down again. Well, I didn't have you lie face down yet. No. <laughs> Line your side facing me, please. Move close to this edge. You put your hand up here like this. I'm gonna stretch this leg straight and this one bends. I'm gonna put my hand under here mm -hmm. and I'm looking for the lumbar right in there. Come this way. Come closer to me. Switching arms. Hand goes in. Point up the knee. Let that fall again. There's one more. Let it roll towards me. Oh. Can't? No, it's tight either. Okay, so let's leave that one. Scoot over this way. One second though, you do have one or two pieces to work <laughs> on. Yeah. So lie face down now. I'm 
I'm going to have you lift this thigh off the table as high as you can and put it down and lift this thigh up as high as you can. Which one hurts more? This one at the moment, I think that's just muscle. muscle. Yeah. So I'm going to lean into that with my elbow, okay? Now start to lift that right leg up again, okay? Oh. I know, but just do an inch or two and then put it down and lift it up a half an inch and put it down and lift it up a centimeter and put it down and one more lift it up oh. there it is that's what i was looking for so one of the things that we do when you're in the office on a regular visit mm -hmm. sounds like i'm selling you something but we have a 10 minute station before you see me mm -hmm. where you get all this worked out with the hyperbolt uh, yeah. yeah and that really is a nice addition especially new that it has these tight glutes but I'm hitting it a little bit right now. Yeah. And I will hit it for a few seconds of the hyperbole to give you that experience. I know you know the hyperbole, but it's fun to have someone do it to you yeah. rather than reach behind you, try to do it to yourself. That's the lightest setting. Oh, that's so painful. Now, sometimes we add rotation with it. So we, we oh, floss sorry. the muscle with it at the same time, but you need a lot of work with this, okay? Yeah. So now lift that leg by yourself. How does it feel now? Better. Good. So lie on your back. So all the stuff that you have is fixable. The neck is a long-term chronic thing, but it's still fixable. And I'm just going to look at the last thing. I just want to see what your feet look like. 